Hi, so in this video, we're going to look at ACX check plugin in Audacity. And we're going to talk about how to meet requirements for ACX. So now we've got this nice recording, sample recording. And uh, you'll have to download and install ACX check plugin if you haven't done that already. If you do, you'll find it here in Analyze and then ACX Check. We'll click it and it will probably tell you that your clip fails to meet ACX requirements. So we have uh, three parameters that we have to meet. So first of all, that's the peak level. Uh, your peak level shouldn't be any higher than minus three decibels. RMS level, which is which is basically just um, a loudness of your recording. So it should be somewhere in between minus 18 and uh, 23. And uh, in the noise floor, noise floor shouldn't be uh, any higher than minus uh, 60. So I, I barely passed that. Um, now, I'll tell you how to deal with each of these uh, parameters. So, I myself pass peak level, but let's, let's do something. Let's try using Amplify, and we will... We will, will not as the requirement right now. See, it exceeds. So, um, to deal with this problem, you can use normalize if you set it to minus 3.1. And uh, I've, I've told you already, it shouldn't be any higher than minus 3. So, minus 3.1 should work and you'll pass the peak level requirement. Uh, you can do the same thing with RMS level, just use normalize to deal with it. Um, if it doesn't help, you can try using a compressor. And you would use, you would probably be using compressor anyway. So, Yeah, let's do this again. Um, I need to mark it. Okay, so we are good with army S level and we are good with peak level. You can deal with that with a normalizer and compressor. And now we have this noise floor problem. It, it was fine at first, but since I normalized my audio, it, uh, uh, it made so that all of my background noise uh, was lifted. And now my noise floor, my uh, noise floor is at minus uh, 55, basically. So the best tool to deal with the noise floor, you can either go to the spectrogram and you'll notice like right here, it's, it's the background noise in between my words and here and here and here. You can try and remove it manually, but it, it is much easier to just use a noise gate. Um, Audacity doesn't have inbuilt noise gate, uh, so you would have to download it and install it. And you'll find it here then. And uh, you can choose, so you can choose minus 40, it will probably work to you as well. Um, and as you can see, it did remove some of the background noise here. And we'll go back to waveform, analyze, A6 check, and uh, now we pass all three requirements. So 
to deal with all these three parameters, you need um, normalizer and noise gate. And if normalizer alone doesn't help, you may need compressor as well.